Four very different tracks in the first four weeks of the season. Are there challenges in getting ready for a high-speed short track like Bristol Motor Speedway? Definitely. I mean, it, Bristol's a tough place. I mean, the, the concrete is always tough. I mean, it's uh, they did an awesome job when they when they resurfaced the racetrack, but it's uh, you know it's just always a battle. And, and you know when you put 43 cars on a half mile track like that, uh, you you never get to let your guard down. You're always in traffic. You're always around somebody, and uh, you know you always have to push all day long. Some drivers say they just want to leave Bristol with their car in one piece. What is the strategy for your team heading into Bristol? I don't care if it's upside down, on fire, in 100 pieces as long as we're the first one to cross the line. But, um, you know, it's hard. It's hard to run 500 laps at Bristol and not have a mark on your race car. I mean, it's even guys that win the race a lot of times look like they've, they've been in a boxing ring with their race cars. So uh, it, it's not uncommon to, to leave there with a car that's beat up and banged up. You have one win at Bristol, but your career average finish there is not indicative of how well you have run there. You have had at least 245 laps, three different, led three, 245 laps three different times. What is the toughest challenge to translating how well you perform there to how well you finish there? It, it's easy to look at the stats sheet and say, you know, over our in our 14th year and we've only won one race at Bristol and it's it's easy to say man we, we've struggled there but we we've ran really really well there at times and uh, we, like you say we've led a lot of laps it's just you know you end up with a top five at the end of the day or something happens and you you, you have a problem that sets you back at the end uh, that keeps you from winning the race but it's um, you know it's a place that we like I mean and it's hard to win races at Bristol I mean there's so many things that have to go right but um, you know, when you got a car that's that's really good and capable of winning the race, it's it's a fun, fun place to be. Uh, with the unique pit road situation at Bristol, everyone pitting on the back under caution and exiting on the front stretch. Is there a preference to pitting on the front or the back, or does it really matter? I, I don't think it really matters. I think the biggest thing is you want to you want to try to have an opening in or out. So if you can qualify in those first four spots and and you know either be at the the beginning or end of each straightaway uh, and have that opening in or out, it's uh, you know that seems to be a bigger key. I mean pit road's pretty tight, so um, you know I'm not sure that really being on the front stretch or back stretch is an advantage now like it used to be. But um, you know it's it's definitely you know a tight pit road and and you got to be real careful because you know you talk about getting your cars beat up you can get them beat up just as easy on pit road as you can on the racetrack so the banking at bristol is pretty high have you ever tried running up it if you had to pick would you pick sprinting up that banking or climbing a fence look at me i mean do i look like i go uphill on it for anything i mean i won't walk up walk uphill to even eat dinner so uh, you know it, it's pretty steep though i mean it, it's it's one of those places that, um, you know, the first time you go there and, and you go down in the infield and you see how steep the racetrack is and then you see the grandstands up above that, it, you feel like you're in the middle of a volcano. So it's, uh, it, it's pretty intimidating. You're an outdoorsman. Do you ever try to take advantage of all the great trout fishing in northeastern Tennessee? Really? Um, no, <laughs> I don't get a chance to do that, unfortunately. We. Uh, is it's a beautiful area and, I, and honestly I, I wish we had more time to hang out in the the you know around the tracks that we get to race at but uh, you know if we had more time I'd love to hang out in, in Tennessee it's like it's, it's just a it's a fun area the people are fun around there and um, you know it, it's definitely a place you can hang out and relax as a first-time fan ask you to describe Bristol Bristol and the atmosphere surrounding the race there what would you tell them well, I mean, watching a race there, it's like putting 43 cars in a blender. Um, you know, it's it's just nonstop action. But uh, you know, there's no track on the circuit that, that the fans are as close to the action as they are at Bristol. I mean, you're you're literally sitting right at the edge of the racetrack, and uh, there's not a bad seat in the house. I mean, every every seat there is a great seat. So, uh, you know, whether it's being in inside the racetrack and hanging out and watching the action, or uh, being at the campgrounds outside. I mean, everybody just has fun when they go to Bristol. If someone was deciding whether or not to come to Bristol, what would you tell them to convince them to come? I, I wouldn't have any reservations about going to Bristol. If you're even considering it, it's, it's definitely a place you've got, you've got to go see it once. Um, you know, it, and once you go one time, you're going to be hooked. You're never going to want to miss a race there. It's just, it, you're not going to find a half mile racetrack that 
you find 43 guys running that fast for 500 laps and, and the, the action just is intense from start to finish. Okay, finally, for them, this is an election year and politics is in the news almost every day. Would you ever consider running for office when you get out of racing? No, I think, I think politicians are used car salesmen for the most part. There's a couple of them I actually like, but for the most part, I think most of them are used car salesmen. I have one question for you, just real quick. Is Bristol a race that when you win it, is it more of a, a chest puffing race to win? I mean, do, do drivers consider it that way? I think so. I mean, I, I look at it that way. I mean, I think it's a it's a big accomplishment to win at Bristol. I mean, there, like I say, there's just so many things that can go wrong. I mean, you, you have to have a great race car, but you have to have a little luck go your way too. I mean, you have to, there's a lot of times you can get yourself in a bad situation really quick. And, and it's, a, it's not just about having the fastest race car, it's about who runs a smart race and, and a patient race. So uh, you kind of have to put that whole day together. I mean, it's, it's a combination of racing smart and having a fast race car at the same time. Excellent, thank you, Tony. I really cool. appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you guys.